Here we are at the wonderful Bathford Brook. This is a tributary of the River Chew. We are working on a habitat restoration project to improve habitat for spawning fish and other wildlife. We did walkover surveys of tributaries of the River Chew and identified opportunities for improvement. This section of the Bathford Brook we found to be reasonably straight in places. It lacked that diversity of woody debris and also was overshaded in some parts and quite open in others. So we've designed a project to help restore these natural features. As part of our survey work, we undertook eDNA of the River Chew and its tributaries and miraculously found salmon eDNA downstream of the Bathford Brook in this area. So that is one of the reasons behind this project to really create the best habitat we can for resident trout and hopefully our salmon populations. We have the contractors out felling large trees and adding these to the river. These will provide really valuable habitat for fish and invertebrate species. They will lay either lengthways or across the river slightly and will help to slow the flow, add woody material and also capture any additional silts within the brook. They'll also help to open up the canopy where it seems to be overshaded. Thinning of the canopies is really important to provide a good shade to sun ratio. Creating more areas of light, particularly in the river, will benefit uh, vegetation and bankside vegetation to grow. Currently, we're not seeing that through the stretch. It's really overshaded, and in these parts, we're not getting the lovely macrophytes growing in the river, which is important for invertebrates and fish. So we found this dead ash, which is perfectly placed to fell straight into the river. So pretty much how it is now, where it's growing, we're gonna drop straight in. We uh, position it a little bit so that it's nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere. And then it's going to create that incredible habitat and diversity to flow. And the flow will actually be encouraged to head onto the side of the riverbanks here, providing a really lovely shelf or storage area where we can bring water out onto the floodplain and create a really nice marginal wetlandy boggy habitat. Recently, we've had quite high rainfall and the river's been in flood. Um, that has meant that the banks have overtopped and we've seen uh, sediment deposited on the side of the river here. This is um, quite substantial amount of sediment in a small headwater stream. The woody debris will also help to clean gravels, which is really important for fish spawning and will help to capture and hold back any additional silt to really create the best habitat we can. We're installing uh, fencing to create a buffer strip, which will add a really fantastic corridor for wildlife, for pollinators, for um, local biodiversity, and also add that buffer for surrounding farmland. And finally, we're planting some trees at the local community in areas where we currently don't have that shading of the brook. And um, that's important because rivers really like a balance of light and shade. The shade offers wonderful uh, protection in the summer months, along with that woody debris to try and create some deeper pools. We're really going to create that resilience to the warming summer months and climate resilience. We're really grateful to the local landowner that's working with us on this project. 
He has um, provided a really great buffer strip to protect the river from the livestock within the field. So also not only is the river protected from added sediment and nutrients, the livestock also are protected from the flowing water and not getting stuck in the brook. Bart are working across the Chew Valley and the Bristol Avon catchment to deliver river restoration, natural flood management, wetlands and habitat improvement with landowners and the local community. If you're a local riparian landowner and would like to know more or get involved with Bart's work, please get in touch with us to find out more. Thank you to the Halpin Trust and Mossier for funding this project.